This is the beginning of what San Jose father Tian Li thought was going to be a friendly exchange between strangers when a man drives up to his home last Wednesday evening with a simple question. Mistakenly thinking the man was asking about his bicycle, not the dinosaur flag Tian bought for his three-year-old son. I answer, you know, oh, it's a Taga, because in my mind, he's asking about the bike, which is a Taga bike. That's when things start getting awkward. Tagalog is a language spoken in the Philippines. Tian, by the way, is Vietnamese. The man who doesn't appear satisfied with Tian's response then starts asking a series of bizarre questions. What's your favorite charity, homie? What's your favorite charity? And makes these statements. I'm sure your marriage is going so well. And insults. Oh, who's up on Google? You're a weirdo, dog. You're a creep, man. You're a creep. Pedophile creep. Pedophile creep. Pedophile Even cursing in front of Tian's children. Why can't I answer my simple question? Tian staying calm through it all. Hey, don't say that. Use that word in front of my children. Okay, Finally, the man makes this threat. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come knock your door. I'm going to talk to you and your wife. Even worse, San Jose police say the man returns several hours later to do this. He came back and, uh, you know, he smashed both of my cars uh, with uh, weights. This is the weight Tian says he found in between his kids' car seats. It is scary. While San Jose police say the incident doesn't appear to be hate-motivated, Tian can't help but think he was targeted because of his race. I think he thinks that I'm Filipino. Uh, because, you know, I can pass for a you know, <laughs> but I'm actually Vietnamese. This is why he's speaking out, to protect his usually quiet neighborhood. Whoever this person is, you know, I hope that he get caught so that it won't happen again to anybody else. I want to shine light on this, you know, I want to make sure that, you know, it's uh, safe for everyone and safe for my kids growing up in this neighborhood.